go. Alison Atwood wants to know how old were you when you started taking horn lesson, Klausi? Me? Yes, oh. you. Horn lesson? Maybe. Did you take horn lessons? Did you ever take a horn yeah. lesson? Or you just play? Well, you just play horn that way. Yeah, uh, <laughs> maybe 11, 11, 12 or something. 11 or 12, Fergus? 11. 11. I started with the cornet, made my way via the trombone and the trumpet to horn. I started when my I was goodness. 15. Multi talented. That's yeah, yeah, that's where it came <laughs> from. And I started when I was 14, after I'm playing the piano. Um, that's why you're so civilized. Yeah. Why well, I'm so civilized, mm. yeah, right. Patrick says, greetings from Canada. Um, I would just like to know how your techniques on how to stay, stay in the game mentally. Hmm. Do you stay in the game mentally? Stay in the game mentally, yeah. Uh, big question, very big question. Um, how do you prepare? Well, I, I work very, very hard still many hours a day. I, um, I think to stay in it mentally, you have to have the technical tools ready. You have to know where they are. Uh, they have to be accessible you, to know what tools to use. And you don't need always the same thing every day. No, and and then to to listen to yourself, to to the body, to your mind, where where, where you're at, um, and then to dare to open the doors. Okay, but you guys are well known for giving twenty five encores. You know, you play after. <laughs> you, last time I heard a concert from you, you yeah. played. I don't know. We were there till eleven thirty. Yeah, maybe. It was, yeah. Sure. It, it was great. But this, Ven this this Venezuelan traditional music is very tiring to play, huh? Yeah, I think it is because our passion for the music, for the concert, for the energy. So we keep more energy where we are when we are playing. So that's why our concert during more than two or three hours, uh, something yeah, like that. Right. Yeah, right. Two or three hours. <laughs> that's a long. And we don't uh, see anything until we actually get there and open the book a few minutes before this st uh, we start re recording. So. What does that do to your nerves? <laughs> Play the solo over and over and over again. And, and so it's just sort of like this pressure just imploding on you this way. And so you just have to learn to push it out and just, and, and just stay focused as much as you can and, and give them good... Uh, takes time after time after time. One was, what's, what are the sort of weirdest, strangest things you've been asked to do on stage? Um, it was probably this way out crazy production that I did of Babylon, a world premiere by the fabulous composer Jörg Wittmann mm -hmm. um, in Munich at the Bayerische Staatsoper and the production team was La Fura del Spaus oh, and they are a Catalan anarchist from street theatre to high culture theatre group um, and I was supposed to, my first entrance was flying in uh, from I think five or six or eight meters it was seemed like 20 meters on a kind of very wobbly sort of platform thing just with one little sort of strap around my midriff oh, with sort of huge heavy um, plastic neon uh, light wings on and stuff and yeah. just fly in and then sing basically something that was like Zerbinetta on speed with like 50 top knees and whatever so that was probably the most scary excruciating thing I ever had to do well it's kind of a cow in B flat yeah. okay a cow in B flat yeah. I've never played a cow in B flat no. before. So you okay. cover the three holes. This was not my plan. My <laughs> plan is for my guests to do. So this is the Hawk and Hardenberger horn challenge. I cover the three holes like this yeah. and I blow. Yes. And you get lipstick on your arm. Ah, okay. All right. Ready to go? Horn challenge. Live horn hangout challenge. I've accepted the challenge from Hawk and Hardenberger to try and make a noise out of this cow horn in B flat. Right, ready? <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, actually really nice. That is very good. Now, try, try to open all the holes. Uh, oh. Oh. I never played such a high note on my horn before. <laughs> I'm really proud I'm a low horn player. Yeah.